Hi, welcome to the Shelly Studio and another video for the hashtag event Trash to Treasure. Uh, today I'm doing a junk mail journal or creating one. Um, I'm going to put together some mail that was going in the recycle bin and create a little book. As I was going through the pages, I decided I had a lot of envelopes and not a lot of pages that I really wanted to do, so I decided to create an envelope journal. Um, so anyway, so here I'm, some of them have tattered tops on the envelopes from being ripped open, and some of them are return envelopes. So the return envelopes, I'm keeping the ones that aren't too bad. Um, I'm keeping the other ones, I'm just taking the flaps off. And this one, I decide to keep it, even though it's an outside envelope. I like this one, it's nice and big. Well, relatively speaking. I'm just trying to make those curve in a little bit. I am taking a little chunk out of the middle, so when it folds it will work well. Um, I notice these are a little sticky, so I'm trimming the top off to get rid of the stickiness. All right, and once I put those together, um, I sew them, I just do a pamphlet stitch um, and get them all stitched together. I do turn some of the envelopes different directions just so that I, there's a little bit of variety and I mishmash the different sizes so there's they don't all go biggest to smallest they go big small big anyway so there's what it's going to look like here I am just deciding which order to put the envelopes in There we go. So now I've sewn it all together and I've put you know, pieces of cardstock or tags or brayered off painted sheets of paper into the pockets. And we're going to go ahead and do the first page, the cover. And I'm just going to put gesso over the top of that cover up the advertisements. I do end up doing two coats of gesso to get it fairly white. It doesn't um, completely cover everything, but it does enough. And then I couldn't decide. I sat there and stared at it. I couldn't decide what to do. So when in doubt, let's take some uh, drop paper and glue it on. So that's what I'm going to do. have no idea where this is headed at the moment. Just wanted to put something with some color down on there um, to help inspire me. And after I glue this down, I... I am a member of Journal 52. It's a Facebook group that does a art journal prompt once a week. I am way far behind. Um, I think this is... I went and looked at the website and found a prompt that I thought I would inspire me to do something. So this is going to be prompt 10 and the prompt is Emerge. So we've got art emerging from our junk mail right now. That's what we've got. <laughs> so I'm just gluing that down really well, making sure all the sides stick down. 
I don't want to fold it over to the other side because I just want to um, do each side separately. So now I'm adding, um, I believe it's burnt umber brown. And my first thought was I would have plants emerging out of the dirt. Um, so that's where I started. And this one is raw umber. And that paint has gotten very stiff. Now we're going to just add a little orange. I'm adding the orange into the ground and as I'm doing that I'm thinking that could be a really cool sunset. So we're going to add some of this orange and I'm using a sea sponge. And we're just going to add it into the red, and this is going to be our sky. I decided to add just a little bit of the neon yellow also into the sky. And this color is called Brilliant Blue it's by Liquitex. Now it almost looks like flames are coming up from the ground. I'm using a baby wipe to back it off a little bit because um, it got a little bit on that orange and red and was turning brown and we don't want brown in the sky. There we go. Well, I did decide I have to have at least one plant coming out from the ground. So, mix a couple of greens together and just, we're going to put a stem in here and some leaves. And I have a little jelly print flower that um, was from another project, left over from another project. And we're just going to glue that on. And then add our quote. So the quote is, only through art can we emerge from ourselves and know what another person sees. And that's by Marcel Prost. Figured an art quote would be a good thing for the cover. Since it's going to be I'm thinking I might use this thing for my journal 52 pages. We'll see what happens. A pocket journal like this would be kind of fun for traveling too. You could um, save tickets or whatever in the little pockets. Uh, you could pre-gesso your pages so they were um, didn't look like a bunch of junk mail. And create as you went. So I'm just inking around the edges just to give it a darkness dark frame and I decide I need to go around the flower so I'm just this uh, pen I'm using is the food ball so it is the one thing you want to do last because it will bleed if you try to paint over it so there we go hope you're inspired by that create a journal it's a really simple thing to do and if you liked that uh, please hit like, and if you'd like to see more, please subscribe. And don't forget to put the hashtag um, trash to treasure in the search bar on YouTube to see more wonderful art by all the members of the Creative Arts Collaboration Group.